Hi there, and welcome back to Real Kosher Family Living. Um, today we're going to talk about cloth diapering. Here is a cloth diaper. Have you seen one before? All right. This one is from a diaper service. We have a diaper service. Um, if you're interested in um, switch making the move to cloth, um, there's two ways basically to go about it. Um, you can have a service which delivers a supply of clean, fresh, fabulous diapers. Oh, they smell so good. They smell like nothing. That's what is so good about it. You can have your service um, deliver a supply of these to your house every week, or you can wash them yourself. Um, without a doubt, having a diaper service is the most expensive diapering option. It is. It's the most expensive. Um, however, it's also probably the best for the environment. Um, a diaper service um, is an industri has an industrial cleaning um, uh, facility. My diaper service says that they clean my entire week's supply of diapers with the same amount of water as is in one flush of a potty. So um, that's amazing. Um, if you've seen um, surveys from um, the big uh, disposable diapering companies talking about how um, cloth diapering is less environmentally friendly than um, disposable diapering. You should know that those surveys were done um, compared to home washing. Um, home washing is very inexpensive, so definitely it's, it's a great option on the pocketbook. Um, it uses a lot of water, which um, may or may not be an issue for you. You might, um, you might not care. You might think that um, the benefits are definitely worth it. Um, the other thing about home washing is that there is, um, there's been shown to be a, uh, perhaps an increase in um, incidence of diaper rash for um, people who wash their diapers at home. And again, that's just because when you're at home, you just can't get it as clean as you would be able to get it from a diaper service. So, um, cloth diapering is very easy. Here's a diaper wrap. If you're doing your cloth diapering at home, you can get your diapers and your diaper wraps all in one unit. It's called an all-in-one. Um, you should definitely look into that. They're more expensive than buying these things separately, but um, you're already saving so much money by doing your laundry at home and um, they're really very easy. It's just like a disposable diaper. You just slap it on the baby, you're done. Um, we have these diaper wraps. Um, these diaper wraps have been extremely durable. Um, they're lined with PUL. This one is really, really old. This one has been through four babies now. This is a four baby diaper wrap. Um, I have made a lot of these as well. Um, if you're at all handy with a sewing machine, these are super easy to make. Um, if you can get seconds and you don't mind the unattractiveness of this style, um, it's probably the same price to buy seconds from, um, from someplace online. Um, and I'll try and include a link for that in my box there. Um, then it, it's probably the same price to do that as to buy the materials that you would need um, to make one. Um, and then you don't have to put the time in it. However, the ones you make are really cute, so there's that. All right, so here's the diaper wrap. All right, you put the, fold the diaper up in folds. It's got the folds marked. This is called a trifold. You fold it up. You stick it in the diaper wrap. It's hard to do in the air, but very easy to do on a changing table or floor or wherever you're changing your baby. Okay. Then you wrap it around here. Put Velcro, Velcro. No pins, no mess. Baby's clean and dry. I actually have much less leakage with cloth diapering than I do with disposable diapers. Um, probably because I'm not very good with disposables. I just really haven't used them that much. But we do use them when we go away because these are a little bit tricky to carry around with us, uh, like for on trips. Um, but um, 
so yeah, so I know that I know people who have complained to me that they had extensive problems with leakage. And I know that different diaper wraps fit different babies differently. So what you might want to do is for this size, which is a size small, this is for four new babies, new guys, um, up to 15 pounds. You might want to get several different kinds. Um, you're going to need between five and 10, depending on how often you like to do laundry. Um, I like to do laundry once a week, but I make an exception when I have a little guy like this. So I'll do laundry twice a week. And um, in that in that case, and um, and so I have a supply of about 12 um, diaper covers, which is a really good amount. It lasts it lasts all the time that I want it to. Um, they don't have you don't have to launder the diaper cover when there's a wet. You do have to launder the diaper cover if it gets um, excrement on it. So that's when it has to go in the laundry. You're just done then. Um, uh, obviously you wouldn't want to put that on your baby anyway, right? Yuck. Okay, so, um, so what was I saying? Oh, so get a lot of different kinds of, um, of diaper covers and try them out and see which ones you like best and which ones leak for you. Um, babies have different shaped legs and some legs fit in the diaper cover holes better than others. Um, at night, we've used in the past. Um, once our babies start sleeping through the night, we've used what's called a soaker, which is made out of wool. And um, you can also get those, um, purchase those, or if you're a handy knitter, um, they're very, very easy to knit. And there's um, several good pattern companies um, that will sell you a pattern, or there's free patterns online as well. I like the soakers that operate like this. So um, with with um, that fold up and, and wrap just because they're so easy to get baby in and out of. Um, the other type of soaker is the kind that slip on like a pair of pants. I don't like it. So, um, so for more information, um, there's this book, uh, Diaper Changes. Um, you can get this at Amazon. It's a self-published book. Um, it has won an award, Writer's Digest National Self-Published Book Award winner, which is great, and it's full of really good information, but this is really a self-published book. The information can be hard to find. It's not really as well organized, organized as I would like it to be. I wish that somebody had picked up this book and given it a good editing because there's just so much valuable information in this book. I wish it was a little more accessible. So nothing against um, Teresa Rodriguez Farisi who wrote this book. I think um, that it's, like I said, it's full of really useful information. Um, this book costs $12.95. Look, I knew it had so much something costs. Um, and it has a lot of websites in it, um, a lot of resources. The great thing about some of these diaper companies who sell all-in-ones and who sell trifolds and who sell diaper wraps is that they just have so much information and so much experience themselves um, that it's practically like owning a book. Um, the nice thing about the book is it compares um, home diapering to diaper services and disposables and so that has some useful information. But really, you can get one of these um, catalogs, um, these cloth diapering catalogs, and you can call the companies, and gen generally these are small businesses, and they're going to be happy to talk to you endlessly about cloth diapering, and, um, and they can really help you make decisions about if this is the right road for you. Um, I love cloth diapering. I love the way that the diapers don't smell bad when there's a wet. I love the way that um, that I have these big stacks of snowy white cloths around all the time and they're great in a pinch when you need to soak something up that's on the floor and you don't have anything else that's going to soak up that much liquid. Um, they're just really useful and wonderful to have around. I've been cloth diapering now for um, six and a half years straight. No breaks. I told my diaper service that I'm their best customer. 
Um, so I really recommend it. I recommend looking into it. If you have any more questions about it, please um, put your comments in the box below and I'd be happy to answer them. And um, we'll, we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.